Hello everybody, how's it going? Axus here, welcome back to another instructional video about M Creator. yes. So today I'm going to speak with you about Lee Entities, okay? Um, I think I will divide this video in more than one, smaller ones, because there are different topics that I, and I think it should be separate videos. I think it's, it's better like this. I think, I'm not sure, but probably will be, okay? So, let's start with the basic, okay? This video will be about create a live entity the easy way, the easiest way that you can imagine, okay? So, let's go there. After you create your workspace and open up your mod, everything is configured, you're going to click here in the plus or add new mod element, okay? If you want to use some folder, let's organize this. Uh, co mobs entities but it's mobs okay i have some plugins extra so you will see extra plugins here that is not supposed to be there but don't worry we're not going to talk about it at the moment okay so you're going to click on living entity okay you're going to name it let's call it tester it's i think it's the best name okay and you will see uh all this information here the easy way is to use one of the built-in models okay this one here it was the model that we use for the animation video uh, disclaimer we will have more animation videos coming soon i'm just waiting a few updates and uh some holiday seasons this the holiday season to pass okay so let's start uh, for the biped. I think it's the easy one at the moment, okay? So you're going to select the biped. It's the same as the player, okay? You will need a texture for this entity, okay? I have this div here because we already downloaded it for the last time, but you can download any, any um, skin that to what I'm going to give you some idea. So I'm here in the Planet Minecraft, and you can see here there is a lot of skins here. When you download the skin to use in the biped, be careful to don't download download the wrong uh, texture. For example, let's say that I want to create a zombie. Okay, so there's a zombie here. You see there is a lot of zombies here okay but not all the skins are for biped because the zombie and the biped has some different skins okay for example i download two already and i'll show you them what is the difference there you go here's the problem both uh, skins are from the same website but let's see if you can notice the difference uh, the biped size is 64 by 64 the mob is 64 by 32 so if you want to use the biped model the built-in you have to download this one this is square one 64 by 64 okay keep that on mind let's come back here so let's import our skin we have to select this one the dead miner okay and there you go, it is here, it's the same as this tip, but let's use this one. Here, you can change a lot of stuff, okay? I usually don't uh, do nothing here, I always live like this. It's here, you can scale up or scale down your mob, okay, without distorting it. So in this case, I will left in the one, oh, uh, because I want it to be normal, okay? If you want the solid box condition, the show around the mob, if it's transparent or not, if the mod is shaking. So yeah, depends on your imagination. Okay, you can set some procedures to enable all these ones right here. We're not going to talk about it. Okay, it's the easy way. Here you can select the color of the egg. Okay, let's see. Yellow and yeah, beautiful. You can select where it's going to be placed. Okay, let's leave like this. If you want 
the entity have, have boss bar if you want the health boss bar on it you can set here let's go to purple you can put some progress no let's make progress you can label the entity so the name will always appear let's go the dead miner okay the dead miner just for the sake of the video you can here put some layers that you can use to uh, give glow texture and display conditions on the texture of the mod okay in this case i will not go through this right now okay the animations leave like this the behavior okay some very important thing here when you're talking about behavior let me open up this leave entities mobs will be able to attack leave entities will be uh, as create with passives okay what i usually do is when i want a mob a hostile mob that only appears at night in dark places i leave it like mob okay because um here in the entities you have to be very careful the way that you define your mob or it will crash the game when you start because if you set for example a rider and later on here in the procedures ahead set uh, some variables different the game will crash so Let's call it a hostile mob that only appears at night, okay? We left mob. You can here define one of those categories. If it's undead, in this case, he will receive damage from Smitey and you see here, they are the features. Okay, we can set the drop here. I want it to drop an iron kex i wanted to have 30 of health and drop 50 experience the movement speed in step 8 i'm going to give this somewhere i don't step and some speed the follow range and tracking range you can decide i usually double it just be fun the attack strange let's keep in five gives some 10 armor protection no knocking back and one not knocking back resistance okay you can select here if it's rideable or not and how do you control the movement in this case is a player model more or less so it's not rideable okay you can define if is or if is not a water entity in this case let it go let it be like this if you can breathe underwater yes because it's already dead if it's pushed by fluids yes because it has a physical body if let's say if it is a ghost you can unlock this okay so and you always can set custom procedures okay so we can check if it's fly or not in this case it's not fly. the equipment i want to give this an pickaxe you can give more items here but be careful okay because some models you cannot give for example um let's give a chest plate okay an iron chain in a pickaxe okay nice and here you can set what is immune to so let's say it doesn't take fall damage no no it doesn't take drowning damage neither potions yeah just, just like this i think is good the sounds you can set different custom sounds for your mob let's say if you want him to give custom sounds you're going to click here and we will look for the sound that you want or you can import the sound how does you going to do that how do you do that it's very simple you go here import ogg sounds in your that maybe it's different the symbol but the same you select what category it will be i will set to hostile and here i have to look for the file need to be ogg in this case i already have one prepared okay i select here i'll give a name i can set 
space with um, this one right here. You cannot use caps lock letters, okay? Can you add sound? So now you can come here and select this on more. Okay, so it will have a custom sound. You can synchronize data. This is good for server and client. When you have different modes for server and client, you can have this part here to set the variable, the variable that will make everything works fine. This is for another lesson. You can give it an inventory, not going to talk about it right now as well. Here, this is very fun and important part. There is the triggers, okay? The triggers you can set different and custom stuff to, do, to happen depending on the, the trigger that you set. For example, when entity dies, let's say you can add procedures here. When the entity kill another procedure, we can call an animation, you can call a lot of stuff. You see, when right click it, when it's heard. I think this need a, a video just for this one, so I'll leave it for later, okay? Here it's a very important part, the AI. Okay, in this case, as this is a simple one, I will leave like this, okay? And I will and because I want a hostile mob, I will just add a few things. Combat here, attack, okay. Inside, nearby, and it is a type of player. Okay, so the only mob that he will attack it's me. Okay, wander around with the speed factor. Let me give a little bit less speed here. So he do melee attack, attack inside, wander around, fight attack mobbers, attack mobs back. Well, fight mobs back okay if someone hurt him he will hurt the mob look around and float in water be careful with the order that you put that because it's the priority order as well okay so if you want to wander wander around more give some priority okay if you want to attack first give priority to the melee combat okay I'll leave here on the middle, I think it's good. Okay. Here we can set an entity base. Okay. The, but for example, here in the okay behavior, we set it like a mob and undead. Okay. If we here set it to bat, blaze, chicken, anything that contradicts that first component here probably will crash your game okay so in this case the only thing that we can set it to be like it's a zombie because it's a mob okay undead and okay in this case he will behave like a regular zombie you don't have to do nothing here he will attack villagers and you will burn the sun okay will be like this so if you don't want to have nothing crashing i suggest you leave none unless you really want to use that but in this case we don't need for example a lot of this stuff here just set the zombie and okay but also the entity based you see it not recommended will affect the spanning span because if we enable uh, spawn in different conditions that a zombie, the game will also crash. Okay, <clears throat> so in this spawn, hey, be careful. I usually set one or two, not more than that. Uh, usually, some specific biomes, in this case, I will leave like this in groups of one to four. Okay, this spawn when idle, I think is very good to unload the, the server okay here we can set the natural spanning type we have monsters creatures ambient underground water etc for example um here 
unmob the mob cannot be creature or ambient the game will crash sooner or later when he tried to attack or do something different the game will crash so if you select a mob it's monster it's not the rule but i think it's easier for you monster i don't want a monster i want this to be creature i want this to be on the sun everywhere so we're going to come here and change for creature you see uh, in the ambient, be careful with the ambient because this is like a um, pl plague everybody, every, everywhere. The only creature that Minecraft has that is ambient, it's the bat at the moment. Yeah, so be careful using that because if you set it to ambient, it will spawn a lot and everywhere under any conditions. It will be like chaos in your server, in your map. So in this case, I want a, a mob. And it's a right here, a monster. And one, eight. You can read here. Okay. You control the PR the bob over other mobs. In groups one to four. And all the, the biomes. You can set it to spawn illusions, yes or not, and how many is in the waves. Okay. And you can set different spawn conditions. Okay. But yeah. I think this is enough at the moment. Let's save it. Desert is okay, and let's see if you can find him on the game. Okay, so we are here where we had our last video. Okay, so let's see if we can find. There you go, the tester is here, the dead miner. The custom sound is working, the armor chest plate is working, the pickaxe is working and the boss bar is working let's see if we can fight this guy just give me some damn oh 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 ooh, ooh, oh 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 sure we were smoking so let's get some netherite armor netherite and let's call him again Just to make sure, let me put some more armor here. Okay. He's strong! Get out, get out, get out. And just like this, we create a boss per game get get out get out get out get out okay and there you go our pickaxe here this thing is strong and fast yeah but there we go let me okay so this is how we create a, an easy mob in this case we create a boss i didn't intend to but yeah it is so hoping like this instructional video don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Check out the other videos of M Creator. Yeah, give your comments and your opinions about what to do next, okay? Thank you so much and see you in the next video. And one last thing that I was forgetting to say. I will leave the link in the description for you download the files of the sound and the skins okay you can find it also in my blog the link will be in the description as well and you can also support me on my coffee page all the links will be in the description thank you so much guys see you in the next one bye bye